Hello, dear ones, Father Peter John, coming to you from All Saints Orthodox Church, Bloomington, Indiana. Christ is in our midst. I want to talk to you today about the Holy Apostle Philip, one of the twelve. He was called by Jesus as he was there in his hometown of Bethsaida in Galilee. Jesus said to him, come follow me. Philip not only followed him, but he brought Nathanael as well and said to Nathanael, come and see the one of whom Moses and the prophets have spoken. That is the Messiah he's referring to. Now Philip actually was, he was not a fisherman like Peter and Andrew who were from his same hometown or like James and John, right? Philip was actually a student of the scriptures of the Old Testament and he had been looking and waiting and anticipating and studying. Uh, he, was, he was looking for the Messiah. So when he encountered Jesus and he realized that Jesus was truly the Messiah, he began to preach and to teach and to bring others to the Lord like we saw him do with Nathaniel. Now, after the um, death and resurrection of Christ and the ascension and the, the coming of the Holy Spirit at Holy Pentecost, uh, Philip preached in and around uh, Galilee, his home region, for a number of years. One of the things he did there, we're told, was one day there was a woman who came to him and her, her child, her infant child, had died and he healed and resurrected, he raised that child from the dead right in her arms there. Um, he eventually went to Greece and when the Jews in Greece got word back to Jerusalem that he was there, then uh, those in Jerusalem, they, they sent some scribes and a uh, chief priest to go and basically have a showdown with Philip there in Greece to try to disprove what he was saying. Well, Philip won the conversation and the Jews were so upset by this, they, uh, they lunged at him. They were going to attack him physically. But when they did this, they were blinded. They couldn't see. Well, Philip prayed that their, their sight would be restored. And of course, all of the people who were around saw this miracle happen, their sight restored. And what happened? More people were added to the Christian faith and to the Christian church. Um, after Greece, then Philip went to a number of different other places. And I'm gonna read you a list just because I haven't memorized all of them. Uh, he went to Parthia. He went to Azotus, uh, Syrian Hierapolis, he went to Syria, Asia Minor, Lydia, Emesa, um, and he was traveling, by the way, with his sister Mariamne and uh, the Apostle Bartholomew. Um, both he, Philip and his sister, by the way, um, were stoned, they were thrown into prison, they were ejected from quite a number of different villages, uh, they suffered terribly, uh, as well as Bartholomew, for their faith in Christ. Well, one time Philip finally arrived in a city called Phrygian Harapolis, and uh, when he got there, he realized there was this temple that was built to this uh, pagan snake god. There was this giant snake that lived there in the in the temple. Well, Philip prayed, and that snake died. And so Philip made some serious enemies uh, from the followers of the the, the snake god, and particularly. Uh, made some enemies of the priests who were there who served at that pagan temple. Well, when Philip healed the wife of the prefect of uh, Aeropolis there, um, the, uh, and she became a Christian, and the prefect became enraged. And he started to go after Philip, and you know, these the, the priests of the pagan snake god, the temple there, they... Uh, they came after Philip together with this prefect and they told the prefect, you know, you want to get him and kill him. So the prefect then got him, arrested him and Bartholomew, uh, and he crucified them. Well, Philip, as he hung on that cross, he preached from his soul with such fervor as he was hanging on his cross that the people who were all around watching, they became convinced of the truth, and they, they, they begged the prefect to take him down from the cross. Well, the prefect had Bartholomew taken down first, and by the time they got to Philip, uh, he had departed this life, given up his spirit for his faith in Christ. His sister Mariamne took his body down and buried it, and then she continued to preach the gospel until her peaceful death many, many years later. Holy Apostle Philip, wow, with his boldness, Holy Apostle Philip, one of the twelve, a lover of Christ, the Messiah, pray unto God for us. Christ is in our midst. He is and ever shall be.